we're going to take a minute and look at power versus energy. We want to understand that power is an instantaneous value. What's happening in our system, either generating or consuming energy at a moment by moment situation. Energy, as we hopefully understand, is power over time. That all also applies to our Ohm's law rules that we've looked at as well, right? Understanding that volts times amps equals watts, and watts is our unit of power. And then watts over time is our units of energy. We're looking at a DC uh, battery-based system here, a standalone type of system, and we have a PV array that's powering uh, through a charge controller to send energy into this system charge batteries or run our loads, whatever's going on at the moment. So if we think about volts times amps equals watts, if we look at the display on our charge controller here, right, we can see that we have an input and an output. The output value is what's going out of the charge controller into the DC side of the system. That's 54 volts going into the battery system at 18 amps approximately. And so that 54 volts times 18 amps is about 1,000 watts. We can see below that on our display here that we have 990 watts right now, or 0.99. You can see it's listed in kilowatts as the value. So right this second, we're making 990 watts constant from the charge controller into the system. Now, that, so basically 1,000 watts coming out of the charge controller from the PV array. Now, if I think about that over time, I see next to it here on the next or a column over we have our kilowatt hours and that says 6.3 kilowatt hours that's how much energy we have made today um, so far it's still sunny out system still producing if we thought of it as like a flat constant output we could say if i made a thousand watts for six point for six hours i would have six kilowatt hours that's what it would look like today now we understand sun comes up low angle and we have a production curve, right? So we start at zero at sunrise and we ramp up our watts and then we ramp down our watts. So the watts are always gonna vary from the solar array throughout the day. So the power or the watts will vary through the day and the energy that we harvest at the end of the day is gonna be in our kilowatt hours listed to the right here at our 6.4 kilowatt hours. So that's kind of what we gotta to start to think about when we understand instantaneous power versus energy produced over a period of time, daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, and all those things go into our, our production of our energy for our system.